Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you some of the enhancements in uh, Webster Commerce version 7 around uh, search engine optimization, otherwise known as SEO. Um, prior to version 7, you had to do a lot of the stuff with some background jobs and background processes and XML files and whatnot. And for the most part, pretty much all of SEO is built right into the business user tooling which is the management center so the first area that I want to show you is this is the store list so these are the different stores that I can administer and I'm gonna go into the Madison eSite and the first thing I'm gonna look at is under the search engine optimization tab you can see on this store I have uh, three static pages or just pages with static content on them and you'll notice that um, the SEO I have set up for these um, is pretty basic words so for instance on the help it would look like help dash contact us etc so if I come over to um, a browser and type in a URL that looks like this it'll, it'll essentially be very uh, readable by a human being so let's go ahead and, and look at that and I've actually bookmarked it. So if we come in here and looked at help and contact us at Madison eSight, you could see uh, the URL is pretty, pretty basic. It's the uh, the address, the site, and the help contacts us. And you can actually uh, get rid of all of this um, using some other uh, SEO configuration, and it could be very basic. And this is a development machine, so. Uh, I don't have that configured, but you can see here, you know, there's nothing crazy in the URL. You can also do the same thing for um, products and categories. So if we come into, for instance, apparel, and under the search engine optimization, we see that the desktop uh, URL keyword is apparel. Uh, we could also override uh, the page title. The default would be Apparel, Extended Sites, Catalog Asset Store, or the name of the store that you're in. And we can also give the, the image for the category or the product um, a default override for the alt text. And if we come over here now and access one of my bookmarks and we go to the Apparel category, you can see here that... Um, you know the URL is pretty thin and it goes directly to the apparel category and if we try now like a product and we go to like tops and look at this sporty tea same thing sporty tea uh, we can set you know we can pretty much use the defaults out of the box um, but we could override them if we want and when we come over here and click on Sporty T. We can now see it goes directly to the site. We've got the Sporty T here, and you also notice up in the title, it has the same title that we had uh, specified in the configuration, which is Sporty T colon the name of the site. And once again, this is a you know this is a development site but uh, you know setting the SEO options for um, a site or a product catalog or static pages is pretty straightforward in uh, in management center so that's it hope you enjoyed the uh, the tip